What fire springs forth? What bile does bubble? The black moon swings. <laughs> the sky stirs trouble. By vile intent. We kill the light. Through the shadows. Madness beckons. Weird. That. Night. So. One, two, three. Hey everyone, it's Patrick Galactic. Welcome to Weird at Night. I'm very happy to be here with you. I'm gonna take the shit off my voice here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, welcome to Weird at Night. If you're new to the show, let me tell you a little bit about it. Um, Weird at Night is your twice weekly cosmic destination for creative conversation every Tuesday and Saturday at 11.30 p.m. Uh, we talk art, history, uh, music, movies, pop culture. We talk about our feelings. We get in our feelings. And we never shy away from getting super real, but most importantly, we're community, not a show. Everyone watching and everyone on the screen is a member and equally important to making Weird at Night as weird as it is. So thanks and welcome. By the way, feel free to at me throughout the show. At around the 30 minute point, we'll take a chat break and I'll answer any questions directed to me live. So, <laughs> What you just saw, and if you've been watching Weird at Night for a while, you may know this. That's a ham dream, people. I had a ham dream. Now, ham dreams in the Weird at Night uh, universe are mystical forces. Uh, they pretend something big, ominous, or neat, or scary, or the end. It's always hard to tell. The last time I had a ham dream, Blaze and Space created a vortex that sucked me in so they could hijack my album wrecks, which, honestly, I would have just totally given them, and then it spit me back out. The only problem was the vortex got hijacked by more than just Blaze and Space, and we all ended up a little stranger in it, and there were all these people kind of flim-flamming through time, and suddenly new characters started showing up like Steve Germany, Inner Nibbles, and Shady Eyes, which, we're not complaining, right? I mean, that's not the worst result. What could it mean this time, though? I never know what a ham dream's gonna mean. And that's why I, I asked myself until I got a text about 14 seconds ago with a link from a number that just said, I'm pulling it up, pulling it up, hold on. Always have too many apps open. Uh, let's see. It said, I'm the whistleblower. I did it. Now, I have no idea what we're about to see. This kind of thing happens in the Weird at Night universe. Sometimes you just have to roll with it, and that's what we're going to do, but please uh, be advised to clench your butts.
is not funny. I don't think this is funny. Actually, this is fucking not funny at all. Get the fuck back here fucking now! It's for you. Here's the deal. You stop blowing the whistle, and by that I mean you must cease the blowing of all whistles. You and all of your fucker wan stars are going to do everything Finecore says or we kill Jack Panda. <laughs> what? You'd kill your nephew? That's all you've got on me, bitch? I'm Olga motherfucking low. I might be gross, but I'm always gorgeous.
<laughs> so victory? <laughs> Oga low. It's the <laughs> it's the hero. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> doesn't matter. We won. Fine core is gone. We did it. <laughs> I had just known that we were in empty contracts that couldn't legally be enforced. None of this would have ever been necessary. But <laughs> Olga did it. She just, uh, she just, she just straight up murdered Jack Panda. Uh, <laughs> Olga's the the hero. <laughs> Olga's the leader of the. <laughs> you know, um, <laughs> we're getting some from Shady Eyes, and uh, he's returned to Weird at Night. So let's uh, go to that now, okay? Oh my fucking god! Oh my fucking god! This is so bad. This is so fucking bad. This is uh. Oh, uh, yeah. Let's get you to Shady. Shady eyes. In a basement. Looking for patterns. That's the pattern. It's a whole motif, actually. That is a wall without a pattern. You know what's super functional? My phone next to my stapler. Oh, let me use this elevator. It looks nice and normal and safe. Oh God, why for? What are you? Is that blood? Mm. Oh, it's crazy. Hey, we're back and it's time to party everybody. Fine Core has been defeated and vanquished and uh, moved from Weird at Night. So that is extremely, <laughs> extremely good news. So let's decide to fucking party, right? We did it. We exposed Fine Core for who they really were. Brazen, wealthy liars with a malicious intent. And then we, I mean you and Olga. <laughs> Olga just murdered Jack Pan and scared them away. That's not a good lesson. Uh, so like everything on Weird at Night, uh, the universe and the community conspire in mysterious ways to create excellence. Thanks to everyone for helping us in this battle of art and commerce. Uh, without you watching and chatting, there really isn't a reason for us to do this uh, beyond my own rampant insecurity and narcissism. <coughs> 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 Uh, coming up, we have a blazing celebration, but first, uh, we got a couple album wrecks for you, and I was nice enough not to load the pictures in tonight. Uh, the first album wreck is Oil of Every Pearl's Uninsides by Sophie. This is a uh, wreck from Twist in the Album Wrecks channel. It's been added to the appropriate play playlist, and I threw a pick in there as well. Uh, it's uh, kind of weird. It's a single slash EP called Truth Nugget uh, by Helena Deland, uh, who is um, uh, kind of an uh, artist from Montreal, singer-songwriter. Um, I kind of came across her work by accident and uh, really, really enjoyed the song I found and then uh, explored more of her stuff and just really enjoyed all of it. So uh, that is a uh, really hot wreck is uh, Helena Delon because I think that she is headed for bigger and brighter things. Um, if you want to get a Weird at Night uh, recommendation on the show, if you want to get an album wreck on the show, um, you can join our Discord 
and make those on the Weird at Night Rex channel. Uh, I scan through there before every episode to just see, uh, you know, uh, what what people are throwing in there, and uh, if there's something in there that looks interesting, I do. So, okay, now we got to get this party started, right? We've made it through so much together, and now it's time to kick this shit off. And when you want to celebrate. You don't fuck around. You turn to the professionals. Not Jeff. Fuck Jeff. He sold out to Finecore and now he's out on his ass. <laughs> this is the professional I speak of. All right. Thank you very much, people. How you doing? I'm doing really well. Right. That's why Sounded good over there. Thank cool. You. All right. Do you need this far back? If, you can if get that's on. Where, how long your arms are, you think you can reach from All there. Right, hang on. Don't show off. All right. Oh, 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 <laughs> Make some music. All right. Let's give it a Here go. Here we go. Yeah. Yeah. It's a nice lot harder job. than it looks. It really is. OK. Thanks a lot. All right. Thank you. Thank Anybody you. else? Thank Here you. we go. All right. All right. Here we go. Here we go. So I live in North Adams, and we've been up here about 13 years. And it was just a town of a lot of low self-esteem because they've just had a lot of hits. A lot of factories went down, a lot of, you know, just a lot of hits. And this mayor came along, uh, Dick Alkenbright, who saw, I think, the opportunity of, of the festival. And he just said to the town, and this is the way he is, like we get text messages when there's too much snow. I mean, the guy is just generous. He said, we've got, 8,000 people coming next week. What are you going to do? And everybody, the signage that went up, I mean, everybody in town volunteers for this. Uh, you know, they, they take tickets, they sweep the floor, they say, I'll run that CD to the merch stand. I mean, everybody can't wait to help. And I think everybody feels so grateful that something has come along, like an event has come along to you know, give them their self esteem. It's Welcome to Blazing Spaces, Blazing Space! I want all of you to attack with love! Woo! We did it! We defeated fucking Fine Corp. Well, I guess in a way, Olga defeated Fine Corp. Or maybe Jack did. Kind of like a martyr sort of thing. Even though he's kind of one of the pieces of shit that got us into this. But let's not dwell on that! Everything is great now because now everything isn't fine. Wow, and how true that is. Fine Corp was so wrong. Everything is not fine. I can't really breathe outside today because uh, the world's on fire. Uh, let's not make a list of things that aren't fine. We know everything's fucked. The key thing is to embrace the situation. There's no other time we could possibly be alive except for right now. See your part in it, find purpose, attack with love, Embracing the situation is our only chance to be free. Everything is not fucking fine, but we're fucking weird at night, baby! And we can do whatever we want! Even if that means changing the system to be more compassionate for everyone. Woo! This.
No more living on a maybe Couldn't give a care if they look crazy Do what I have to to make it Out of my circumstance I made it Taking a certain chance I hate it But now we the favorite No more living on a maybe Couldn't give a damn if I look crazy Did what I had to to make it Now we the favorite All right. So you see, this Tuesday is where the real party starts. Uh, you know, we just threw this together because who could have known that Fine Core would be defeated today? Certainly not me. Certainly not anybody involved with this show. But, 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 Tuesday, we have a very special edition of We Edit Tonight. Uh, Terry Monstrosity, uh, frequently featured uh, contributor, uh, not contributor, but uh, artist, frequently featured on the show, will be live at 8 p.m. Uh, with a set of fire rhymes and rhythms. Uh, so definitely uh, do not miss Terry Monstrosity. You will not regret uh, being very still and enjoying that. Uh, 9 p.m., we have our friends at Astral Media Lab with the second episode of their AV podcast, The Lab, featuring my friends and yours, you just don't know it yet, Pergato. Um, the first episode of The Lab uh, with Noel Brass Jr. that we did a few weeks back was incredible. Uh, very excited to see the follow-up and uh, very excited for you all to join us. And then, Tuesday, check this out, on a Tuesday, uh, the very earliest you'll have ever been able to see this show at 10 p.m., I will be hosting a special edition of Weird at Night. We will have, uh, hopefully, Terry and uh, Pergato and uh, the folks from Astro Media in the chat to uh, answer your questions, kind of dissect what we talked about and what we saw, and then we'll have a big fucking party. Like, we're just going to party for a while. Is that cool? Can we just party and do art and just... We're just going to do that for a while because, I mean, we... We got really screwed by the whoever let Finecore into this whole. <clears throat> um, hey, we haven't done this in a while. <laughs> okay. song has never rang so purely so true uh we are so lucky to be such a fine community of wonderful people who came together to defeat fine core because people over greed is what it's about my friends we have each other and that's all we need so remember that and bowie the cat is walking through my shot thanks buddy but we are gonna pay some bills Feeling suspiciously good? Try doom scrolling, a new revolutionary mode of time travel. By staring into the abyss, it won't make you feel better. It will make you feel something. The status quo. We've designed your life now. Shut the fuck up and live it. My life is a movie that will never end. Patient acceptance of mediocrity is freedom. <laughs> New management MFers, shitty's pizza. The hospital is next door. Use promo code. Why God do we suffer? You get a free depubing. Normally four ninety nine. Limit one per customer. Uh, Fine Court has nothing to do with shitty's pizza anymore. Um, on the corner of Ninth and Nocturnal Drive, where it's always been, just past the memory of your first fully charged smartphone. 
Uh, when it says new management here, it is a community owned pizzeria. Uh, so the you all, the community, are the proper owners of Shitty's Pizza now. And finally, I can't express to you how excited I am about this. Returning soon, Don's Long Gone Lawns. Don takes acid and plays with knives on your lawn because God is in the grass, man. Use promo code 12977777999125. Something will happen. It's uh, going to be 10 smackers payable in LSD. No talking. Keep the kids and pets inside. You can see Don's getting back to being his old self, uh, his uh, scalp transplant and uh, chin uh, reduction uh, surgery were successful. I cannot say the same for John Hamm. Um, unfortunately, when his features were removed from the face of Don, they were lost. So um, if you find John Hamm's chin or, uh, or hairline, please do... Um, let us know. What a show, right? What a show so far. We've had a lot to unpack. And here we are at about the halfway point of Weird at Night. Pissing the night away. Um, if you, I'm going to go through the chat, see uh, what to respond to. And also uh, got a few little promo spots to throw in. But if you got something to do, now's a good time. So let me go through here. You want to be the hero. Oh, Blazing Space. Do I want to be the hero? Oh, no, I don't need to be the hero. <laughs> Definitely don't need to be that. Olga. <laughs> really? Hero. Olga. Low. <laughs> okay. Uh... Uh, Meredith said the hat, the backwards hat was fun uh, and called me a new kid on the block, which I don't know how to take that. Uh, Meredith wants to party. I'm down with that. Um, so do we all get limit unlimited free deep pubings now? Uh, Alex F and V, that's a great question and, and a very fair one, I should say. Uh, but the fine folks at fine at uh, at Shitty's Pizza and the and the board that we'll have to assemble to make these decisions will certainly weigh in on it soon. Uh, perhaps unlimited deep heapings for all, which is incredible. Um, let's see. Oh, are we complaining about the sponsors? We just get them back, and now we're complaining. Okay. Okay. I'll show you what happens when we can't have nice things. I'm just kidding. All right. Um, September. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, I'm, I'd love it if you'd give it some thought because right now uh, you can get 20% off a one month, 25% off a three month, or 30% off a six month subscription to the Weird at Night channel. Uh, it's a great way to uh, support the channel and means a lot for us personally, myself, Mirror Death, and Blaze in Space, all artists trying to make it happen. Um, and would be amazing to have your support. Um, there's another way to uh, support the channel, which is to go to our uh, website, the Shop of Juan. You can look at our merch there. We've got some really cool new additions to the to that shop. Blazing Space has some merch in there uh, that was recently added. We've got an under the radar new edition, the Psycho Analyze Your Parents line of stuff. There's T-shirts, hats, bags, backpacks. Whatever, fanny packs, come on, make it happen. Uh, but uh, note that while you're perusing, you'll notice a few specific designs by contributors like Matt Jenkins and uh, our producer Blaze in Space. 100% of the profits from those products go directly to those artists. So if you enjoyed Matt's stunning animations day and night, and I never think anymore, he's made custom designs from those uh, animations and put them on some pretty cool stuff. There's a lot of ways you can make a difference. So just choose the one that works best for you. And if you're not flush with cash right now, that's not a problem. Weird Tonight is never behind a paywall. Give us a follow. Join us live every Tuesday and Saturday and tell some friends. Have fun. Jesus fucking Christ. Um, now. I'm going to let it sit here for one more second. And... Uh,
Yeah, I think it's time to move on. Okay. Whew. Big day. All right, we're back. Hopefully you got to pee or do whatever it is you need to do. Or hopefully, hopefully you're just happy. Because at the end of the day, you know, you can, you can drive greed out. You can drive all of it out. We still got to be good with you. I'm working on that every day, right? We got to work on ourselves all the time. We got to evaluate. We got to be honest. And uh, fine core may be gone, but our problems haven't gone with them. So also important to remember that companies like fine core don't necessarily just disappear out of fear very often. So I'm kind of scared they could come back at some point and I really hope they don't. I really hope we can be vigilant and guard ourselves and make sure the fine core does not invade these sacred shores ever again. But we have more celebrating to do. Blazing Space is gonna be back from the start revolutionary Myrdeth is in the house, but now we're rejoined by the Bard of Weird at Night, the Shade Spear of Weird at Night, the one who gives meaning, context, and confusion to it all. Shady Eye. Shady Eyes. In a basement. Looking for patterns. That's the pattern. It's a whole motif, actually. That is a... Good thing there's a first aid kit in here. Cause you locked in! You locked in! What did you used to do? water heater. However will I move this paper? I'm joining you now with breaking news. Um, terrible news, <laughs> actually. <laughs> it's really bad news. Um, Olga Lowe, now the anti-hero savior of the Weird and Night universe and cosmic vigilante on the account of the flagrant murder that she committed right on camera in front of everyone of Jack Panda, uh, has disappeared in the wake of her obvious murder of him. <laughs> so she's a fugitive and on the run. <laughs> and has to hide <laughs> and can't be here. <laughs> that's, uh, that's terrible. It's terrible. Uh, heartbreaking, really. Uh, justice for Olga. Uh, I, or, or just go Olga. You're our hero. <laughs> and you're gone. So, weird. Anyway, here's... <sighs> Hi, it me, your death, weather report, blah, blah, blah. Well, they're gone. Cat's out of the bag. Olga's the hero. 
I guess I should be really hyped. It's over. It's over. Bye, fine. Man. Look. I had posters. I had hashtags. I had protest songs. I had an entire record of fine, specific protest songs. I was ready to be the Woody Guthrie. Arlo Guthrie? Shit, man. Never really considered it that I don't know the difference. The machine killing fascists? That guy. I had it all on lock and I was going to be the Pete Seeger of the Wanverse. And then this bitch comes through and kills him. Okay. He's gone. They're gone. We're free to be our weird selves? Fuck Olga, man. I know. It, yes, yes, yes. She took care of the problem. We need to be grateful. But okay. Living in gratitude, fine is gone. I'm happy and I accept that whatever the methodology, questionable, questionable, not to be repeated, we're free. And I guess... Thank you, Olga Bo. As tribute to your bravery and fortitude to spur you on your way to fugitiveness and hopefully some fucking soul searching, I'm gonna sing you a song. One of your favorites. You wrote it, so obviously, your favorite. Been so long, now we're working it out. This will never, ever end. Stars in our eyes, that'll never go out. This will never, ever end. This will never, ever end. Godspeed, Olga, and... If you dare darken our door again, come correct, and no more murder. No more murder. I, I just, I, mm, mm. the hair flip, though. Okay, okay, if you had to, if you had to. All right. Good night. Weird at night. We're what really matters here. People there's nothing else we've learned. The people matter more than anything else. Good night. I'll be right back. Just making a quick, uh, you know, nothing here, nothing to see here. Oh, nothing at all. Nothing at all. Just the universe got a little weird. All right, let's just, uh, let's do that again. Sing as sing, no, we don't sing a song. Nothing is real, nothing is real, nothing is real, nothing is real. Do you believe in the formless hardware? Madness sprays across the field of scars.
answers will come in time I'd say the truth is come to change Special that you want? Yes. What? A telephone. Dial O for glamour with a Greta Garbo cloche hat of beige and white coin dotted silk. New fashions in phones put the magic touch of beauty into your home, too. One of these glamorous new phones costs you so little, gives your possessions an elegant air, keeps you beautifully in touch wherever you are, because fashion, beauty, and efficiency are our business, too. Yes. Yeah. Okay, sweetheart. Now have a nice birthday tomorrow. Okay. Have a nice birthday party tomorrow, too, huh? Bye. Right. Okay, now take care and be a good girl, won't you? All right. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Happy birthday. Good day, gentlemen. This is a pre-recorded briefing made prior to your departure in which for security reasons of the highest importance has been known on board during the mission only by your HAL 9000 computer. 
Now that you are in Jupiter's space, and the entire crew is revived, it can be told to you. Eighteen months ago, the first evidence of intelligent life off the Earth was discovered. It was buried 40 feet below the lunar surface, near the crater Tycho. Except for a single, very powerful radio emission aimed at Jupiter, the four million year old black monolith has remained completely inert. Its origin and purpose still a total mystery. suffer a bit. Bye, Floaty. You've been a real pal. An episode we've had two nights of Weird at Night. Uh, we very quietly turned 40 a few uh, episodes back, and usually we make a big deal about every 10 episodes. So we're going to have to make an extra special big deal this Tuesday at 8 p.m. on uh, uh, twitch.tv backslash Weird at Night. Uh, join us for the party because it's going to be excellent. As I said, it'll feature Terry Monstrosity at 8 p.m., the Lab uh, by Astro Media, um, featuring Pergato at nine, and then a very special edition of Weird at Night, and it is just a party. This is just gonna be art, entertainment, and celebration, especially knowing that Hoga can't come back. <laughs> um, <clears throat> especially because Funcore has been driven out, and it's because of us, kind of, it's a very, very, you cannot just put a bow on this one. It's very hard. Okay, we're gonna do some automatic writing. So, if you don't know what automatic writing is, let me tell you what it is. I count back from 10. As I do, you try to clear your mind. When I say go, you just start writing whatever comes into your mind in the chat. Don't edit, don't censor. Spelling doesn't matter. And, when I say stop, 
everybody stops and hits enter or return or whatever. And we read them out loud and we unload our unconscious to each other. And then we bid each other adieu. Are we ready? 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, go. Okay, stop. All right. They're coming in. Coming in hot. All right, blazing space. Knees painful, but still a desire to run a whole lot, like a whole new level of runner's high. Getting out in that space to breathe, which I definitely took for granted. So good to breathe. And sudden obstacles, but communication, fans, judgment, vigilance, fuck. The fight continues. Indeed. Me. Here we are having such a nice time, it's incredible to have vanquished a foe of such size. But perhaps that's not the right information to be proud of. I'm proud of the community. I will try to be proud of Olga, but no guarantees. I am not proud of me, but I will learn, groan, and ultimately have a sick-ass tat in a mohawk. Alex F and V. Ants in the pants of the Lance Slam Dance. What were we thinking of? What are we thinking about today? Almost famous in a parley. I don't care about dead skin, but I've got lots of questions about red pandas. Not Jack Panda. He'll be fine. Hmm? Not red pandas. How do you get so cute? Little babies? Do you eat ants? I like to dance. <laughs> Cudgel fish. A a uh, patina of exhaustion on the lips of an open, sucking chest wound. I asked Lord Shiva how I could remain a tree while living in fire. And they told me, breathe and serve. The avoidance of suffering is suffering. Hmm. Very good. PC Blackout. What if we all, what if we all have been saying Dr. Pepper's name wrong? Maybe it's Drive Pepper. I drink a bottle of dry pepper all by myself once because no one else was there. If others were, they would have shared. But this isn't about me. It's about drive. You know, where do you get this? Anywhere else, you know? Um, ironic Twix. Friendly ghost is an oxymoron. Sometimes I think I'm destined to wander the world as a ghost forever while I'm, while I'm alive. But I'm too friendly for my own good. I want to stamp out the parts of myself that people like, but they're trick birthday candles that never go out. JLG. On the way up the hill, I saw a huge black cloud seemingly coming down upon me. When I looked at it more closely, it resembled a lamb. Hmm. Ash Maddie. The little girl with the big heart tried to heal and help. Bring us together when we needed to be apart. Mad we couldn't do it. Sad we couldn't do it. Amazonite for communication and Opalcite for transitions. Mere death. Ring around the and we are fire and cash is king and Prince died when again? Because the crushed purple is like a knife in my heart forever. Weird. Pr 
princes all. But it is forever real if I walk outside of self and time and see you and instead of seeing you, asking me, I just see your wholeness? Hmm. And then finally, Janine BK. Blasting off to create better worlds, I see Spock and Yuhuru where we reach through into love yet. That's a great way to go out. Thank you, Janine. Thank you, Weird at Night community. We are a community. We are not a show. I love you all very much. This has been very... Um, revealing it's been very um it's been a privilege to be able to share these stories with you and there are many more to come so make sure you're here at 10 for weird at night on tuesday but 8 p.m is when the shit really starts do not miss terry monstrosity you will regret it and i will make fun of you later so get your ass over here let's have a good time love you one two one two three Oh.